we just joined a table at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. If you've not tried playing here yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information on their 30-day VIP trial. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. We have a pair of sixes. I almost said widespread, but then I zeroed in on these sixes. That's where we would start. Sixes. With the rest of these tiles, we can maximize by playing four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. There is some three, six, nine in here too. So let's hold three, six, nine. I always look for an opportunity to streamline though, because consecutive run is the powerhouse on the card. Super flexible, super efficient. All right, now we have a new multiple, a four crack. So we have fours and sixes. There is a little bit of two, four, six, eight in here, but it's not really meshing very well. Because of the four crack, I would let three, six, nine go. So I would probably let the nine crack go. And then I suppose, let's see, the one crack, let's hold on to the two dot. I was thinking maybe we can let the two dot go, but we could maybe play a two, four, six, eight hand, depending on how this develops. Here's another four and an eight. So there's an eight. Here's a four. We have a three now. So the nine we don't need, we have two through six, the eight can go, I believe. Well, if we play two, four, six, eight, though, that eight could be useful if we get a two crack. I think what I would do here is let the two dot go. We have four, five in cracks, a six. With a four crack pung and a six, I think the seven can go. All right, let's see what happens. This three, I think, can go too. So we're focused on the four and the six. We have a red dragon again, back, I guess you could say. Let's see. Oh, yes, we want to keep going. I think this eight bam could probably go, maybe. We have like numbers with threes. I usually don't pass threes. So I would prob or I don't pass like numbers, I should say. So those won't go together. Maybe this dragon can go because without a two or a six, that dragon is useless at the moment. So we have three, four, five, six, maybe two, four, six, eight. We're in gather mode. All right, here's a green dragon. We've got tiles to pass, so. We really don't need to pick a hand. We can just let these go and continue to gather. Four crack pung, pair six. So ideally, this would be even if we can get a two crack. Otherwise, we can try for something with consecutive run. We got the two crack. It trickled in at the very end of this Charleston. So now we have a hand with no gaps. Two crack, four crack, six, eight in dots. Let's pass the west. Uh, so there's two, three, four, five, and a six, eight dot. Eight bam, we really don't need. Let's let the three dot go with the eight. So we have two, four crack, six, eight dot, no gaps. That would be the second hand down, or first hand, first hand under evens. Here's another even tile. They want three tiles. We have three, four, six, four, five, six, no seven. We can pass three, although now we have two through five in there. Let's, let's see here. Let's pass three and let the two dot go. That way we can maybe open ourselves up for another keeper. Think positively. Well, that's interesting. We got a flower. Okay. Sound wind. Oops, wrong tile. 
Okay, so now 2468 is probably the best option. Hand with no gaps at the moment. We can't call anything yet, but I would still gather, especially now, because we can do four, five, six, seven. Pong, pong, kong, kong, run, consecutive run, streamline. That's streamlining. Very efficient. You can go up or down. We have one discard before we have to pick a hand. Let's win. Let's see. Two bam. We can let the three go. We, we still do have a lot of two, four, six, eight in here. So that's still on the option Seven list. Dots. Oh, that would be a Kong tile for us. Two so dots. I would probably lower that on the option list. It's a very short list right now. West wind. Okay, keeper, five crack, four, five, six, seven. With a five crack, I would let the eight go and focus on consecutive run. Eight dots. Two, three, four, five, dragon North is an option. Wind. Three, four, five with flowers, third hand down under consecutive run is an option. And then One the bamboo. seventh hand down on the right is an option. Four, five, six, seven. We would need a joker seven for the characters. seven dots. So we're going to just keep gathering. Six bamboos. So two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. We could do the dragon hand, two maybe. Dots. Two, three, four, five. It's a bit weak Six with the two dots. and the three. Okay, that we would need to Kong. So now we need two jokers. This dragon hand is looking better all the time. West wind. Okay, now that's an interesting keeper here. We could maybe try for Two the first bamboos. hand, the first one through five hand, Two consecutive dots. run hand. We have an extra four though. So Green Dragon. <clears throat> we'll see. Four dots. <clears throat> Three band we don't need. So really, we're keeping an eye on six, seven. That's two one characters. of our options. There goes a two crack. That would be a concern for the fifth hand down under consecutive run. We need pairs. So that that is going to be a little bit of an impact there. We have four, three, four, five, five, six. I don't think this five is helpful at the moment. Five dots. Okay, so we have one, two, three, Seven four, dots. five. If a five crack is discarded, we could pung because we, we could use it for the first hand or we could use it for the dragon hand. Fifth one down. Three bamboos. Oh, we don't need that. Three dot. Okay, we're at, uh, at the sweet spot for switching hands. We, we don't know yet what hand Two we're playing. Characters. We're in between. There goes another pair tile. So now yeah, I would yeah, be yeah. looking at four, five, six, seven, pung, pung, kong, kong. I call that a hand of least resistance. And One that dragon. is because we can use any number of jokers. So even if your tiles go down, six there's a little bamboos. silver lining because you can use jokers. Hmm. There are two seven dots out and a six. So I'm not sure. One it dragon. would be ideal to draw a two crack. <laughs> because that is really the riskiest or that's where we're most vulnerable right now. So we're just going to keep bamboos. gathering. We have all keepers at the moment. We could still maybe play three, four, five Kong. If the two crack goes One down. Bamboo. Five characters. That would be our tile. So we could potentially pung here. I would go ahead and do it. We're at 60 hmm. tiles remaining. We need to dig Two in characters. and commit to something so that we can optimize our potential to win Nine something. Characters. And by vacillating too long between hands or categories, that's going to be limiting. Easy. So we're going to focus on four, five, six, seven hand of least resistance. So now we want, we need to look for opportunities for Joker exchange. 
So let's let that uh, the mm -hmm. dragon go, and then we're going to let this flower go. This is going to mm -hmm. increase in risk as the game progresses. No flowers have been thrown yet, so we need to let this be mm -hmm. our next discard. So we have six, seven, More pung, way. pung over there. Oh, no, flower. Let's see here. We need to keep going. Flower. We're past the switch spot, really. 70 tiles remaining is where you switch hands. I was Bamboo. having a brief moment of considering flower. that third hand from the bottom with quince of flowers, pungs of fives. But we have no, Seven we have no, it would be three, four, uh, two, three, four in dots, which we have none. Six so we're going to take that joker. We'll discard the flower. flower. Now we're going to be able to at least Kong that six dot if we, if it goes down. And then we'll One need bamboo. two jokers for the seven. We have three discards. We're still in the middle game. We have potential, Seven but bamboos. I would say at this stage we're an underdog. Two bamboos. But we have no we have Three no bamboos. vulnerability here. There's a joker. We Five do have bamboos. weakness, but not vul vulnerability. So we can play to win. We Seven have bamboos. two discards now. Hand least resistance. We one can dot. con the six. We need one more joker for the seven. Eight characters. Okay, nine dot. We need to start looking at safe discards. Okay, no three cracks are out. Three characters. All right, next would be the one crack. Well, there's six characters. There are, there's one of each of these tiles. The nine dot one was thrown bamboo. early. The one crack was thrown recently. So I think Eight we should dots. throw the nine dot. This five is going to be safe. For later. Nine We're now officially in the end game. East wind. We need another joker for the seven. Eight bamboos. Mahjong. And we have a winner. Thankfully, it's not pure. Five through nine. Five, no, six, seven, eight, nine, pung, pung, kong, kong. Pung, pung, kong, kong. Handle least resistance. Here we have odds, but they're playing a gap hand, no five. That's a Kong gap. They have their pairs, though, so there's that. That's a, that's a steep hill to climb, though, Kong gap. Here they have a flower, weakness, pair. They need a pair, one, three, five. They have their, their threes paired up, which is good, so they're ready to Kong the five and Pung the dragon. They just need that flower there. So they came along pretty well. I'd say that we were an underdog for most of the game, but we we closed the gap with jokers. We were playing two, four, six, eight, and the twos went down. Filler tiles came in, so we switched to four, five, six, seven. The sixes and the, the six and two sevens went down. We filled in with jokers and played a hand of least resistance. This is a great way to leverage hands that can use lots of jokers, especially if you make a mid-game switch. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.